All right, guys, so we're back here today with, um, well, we're not really back because it's the first episode of The Witcher Wild Hunt. I'm super excited about this. I've played a bit of it before, and then I was like, do you know what? I really enjoy this game. Why not record it? You know, instead of Minecraft and stuff like that. But these will be quite long episodes because they're not something that you can just easily, you know, do like 10, 15 minute videos. I'm reckoning in between, in between half an hour to an hour. Probably most likely be an hour show. There will be probably quite late and going up at night time. Um, but let's jump into it and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, we'll show tutorials. Okay, we'll put that on. Yep, let's go for it. Right, should have a wee cutscene here. Gerald and I forgot his name. Gods, that is disgusting. Jennifer. Well, there you go, that was interesting. I've got to say, the graphics do look pretty awesome for being such a wide scale game. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty massive. Ew. Don't 
find that amusing. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. Vesemir, that's his name. So, later then. Hmm. See you later. Let's skip this. There we go. I don't think we really need to go through all the tutorials. Because you might bring me some more I think I've actually done it. Did I do it the first time? Let me think. Yeah, I did. Sure. Got any clothes that aren't black or white? Hmm. Undergarments. Right, let's find this. I think it's a key or something I'm looking for. Nothing but silver. Gold clashes with my complexion. You should know that. Um. Yeah, it's the key I'm looking for. Um, let me just think. Over there. There we go. And the bedroom is over here. There we go. Right. Oh, yeah. Can't even run yet. Yeah, I think I'll just skip all the tutorials and then. <coughs> I'm really sorry, guys. I've got a bit of a chest infection. Series disappeared. So I'll just, Guess I think. She prefers practice to theory. Mm. Why? Time to wake up, master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too. Damn it. Better taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls. Wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. If she wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Don't get mad at her. Why the hell not? The whippersnapper refuses to do as she's told. You like that about her? <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. Well, he's a bundle of joy. <clears throat> so eager to practice. Strike. Take off the blindfold. 
You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes, I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! Exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Uh, no. We'll not, not do any time. tutorials, because you know, you know I've, I have done it, and... Waiting. I don't, I don't really see the point in doing them again, you know, I know the controls and stuff, so... Well, he's an ugly mother fudger, isn't he? Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the Panthera Tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Mm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep. Uncle Vesemir. Don't try to weasel your way out of this. A witcher must know how to trick his opponent. You said so yourself. You're yeah, smart little bitch. But don't use my words of wisdom on Vesemir, got it? That's playing with fire. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Ciri with the dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Yes. Let's skip straight to free training. No point going over the basics again. Whoa. Ha. Huh. Whoa. You really showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. <laughs> A little she devil. As soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Care Morhen. Find that helmet. Siri? She's gone! Uh, I'll make sure to find every last blade for you. Oh my god. My god. Well, that was different. These um, cutscenes and that won't be as long usually. So we'll be able to, you know, next time we'll just be able to jump on, play the game, and it's done. It's just obviously the start of the game, got a bit of a story to go through. It's 
you know. You all right? <laughs> Had a nightmare. About? It'd take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in a tub, and next to me... Tris? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seemed so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? <laughs> mm -hmm. True to life, indeed. We'll find her. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm? Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Do you know, I think she done pretty well for herself. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. A wild hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Ciri'd appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from any wraiths included. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Be downing soon. Got like two guys rocking. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow our trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh. How about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. Uh. We must meet soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? That's private. Very private. Aha. I understand. At least I think I do. Maybe not entirely, but <laughs> perhaps that's for the best. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? Ah, uh, here we go. Ghouls. Come on! Die. Here's another one. Another one. Oh. Of course. The it's army's just... past necropages follow. Let's go before any more show up. Come on, look at these guys. Don't think we can just yet. Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no. Because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent oh, epidemics. Oh, good for this guy. <laughs> Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him too. His theory collapsed. Come on, man. I'm not got all day, mate. See, that's what I don't like about these games, you know, like, half the time, they, oh, you're going exactly faster going than what they way. are. We have a side. The Northern Realms. And then that Radovitz happens. Radovitz Realms, don't you mean? It's better than one thing I don't like. Radovitz pledged to restore the old borders. 
As soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. That's what keeps us going. And the horse should stay on the path. Well. Very graphic. <laughs> well, that was different. Has it gone? Yeah. Come out. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it alive, piece by piece. Oh. You'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. Yeah, why not? Let's use a few crowns. Thing is, I have a meager purse at the moment. Nilfgaardians requisitioned my goods. Now this... Here. Here we go. Back to the trail. Like I said... Leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. Do you seek someone? Um, yeah. Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But there's an inn here in White Orchard. Sole one around gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye, nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. Where is Roach? Roach! Um, Run, Roach. Go, go, go. Where the fudge are you gone? So, a griffin this close to the village? Let's go. Strange. My thoughts exactly. Forest to the mountain shore from here. And near the main road. Always does that on purchase. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Okay. Not to disturb the peace. And then too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn it. I'll have a pint, please. What? Take that down before there's trouble. That is a coat of arms, the Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. Oh, sure. 
witches. Son of my screen here. <clears throat> I'll not drink with Weaver Law's freaks. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. <clears throat> Already had the pleasure. One mean beast. Mean? Light way for a hunter to put it. Claude Lena so bad, poor things one foot in the grave. But there's no good to wallow in misfortune. How can I be a service? With a drop of vodka for me. And you? Something to wet your tongue. Um, what have we got? Oh. What have we Show got? Show me what you got behind the counter. We've got 300. What? What's in here? We've got some books or right. Whoa. Um let me just have a look here. Really f eggs? Jack and Hmm. No, I don't want that. Bread's usually quite a good... Oh, that's a baked potato. It looks like bread, to be honest. I want... Uh, it's not really worth it, because I mean, I do have, so... I would say, yeah, beat it. Looking for a woman. Raven haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. <coughs> and, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travelers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. for everything. Master Witches, would you be of a mind to kill the Griffin? Beasts are scourge on our land. Only killed livestock at first, but it's got a taste for human flesh of late. We're afraid to set foot outdoors. If someone will pay us, won't say no. you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. You hear? Um, Black one's been out right. measuring the fields. Let him measure. Let's see what kind of loot in here. If any him. Drommel. Drommel, you're dumber than a headless cockerel. Why are they marking out them lines, eh? Parcel out their patrimony. Give it to the ra Let's talk. I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Just want to talk. You deaf, stray. No one here will talk to you. Well, They're not very nice, are they? That mangy snout of yours in a trough with the pigs. <laughs> <laughs> Show that shit eater, Micah. Mm. Running low on patience. Once it's gone, your heads will roll. Oh, uh, we was jesting. No call for anger. See a raven-haired woman here, dressed in black and white? We know nothing, sir. Leave us be. Wow. Well, that's the way go that way. We'll go down here. There's a cat. Four factions. Four what? Fact. What a waste of time. The earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. 
Got a minute? Why not? Aldert Git, assistant professor in contemporary history at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher, with tenure. I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not! Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. <coughs> Excuse me. Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her. Armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No, facts interest me, not fairy tales. I don't think we're really need to hear all that. Gotta go. So long. A moment, I don't think it's going to tell us anything. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. Yeah, why not? Hmm. Why not? Splendid! Here's how it's done. I will go first. All right then. So. That's they always handy. Pretty much just get the highest card and you're done. You can duke them out with what do we call that? With our cards. Right, look at that. Right. So it's my turn, so we'll go with this first. What's it gonna do when we come for you? Let's give it a different. He's gonna pass. Yep. So I might as well pass because I'm higher than him, so. Yes. Knew that was going to happen. Uh, 
Um, I'm gonna have to play this one. Yeah, if they are still lost. And he's got one card left as well. But then again. Nuts! Right, we'll do it again. We'll have another shot. If you ever find yourself in Oxenfurt and wish to play a true master, ask for Stepan. <coughs> a simple innkeeper by trade, but a true maestro when it comes to Gwent. I'll remember that. Thanks. Don't we could play again? It's quite confusing. Like, it's not confusing because it's just like, like the highest and then you're done. Right, we could Let's play. play this game of yours. Um Yeah, we can't get any more of them, so Right. I think we could start. I've got doubles there, which is always handy. I know they come in well good. So I think we could change out. Um this one and this one don't really want that one can you the only thing is that one down the bottom of the hands it doesn't have um what do we call that Yeah, it doesn't have a partner to go with that. Sure, you need a partner for that one. Um, I don't really want to use my doubles right now. Past there. Yep, he's passed. Hopefully, I can get him in this next round. We do have the doubles there, so. And we have bar. Oh, we've got another one there. Whoa! Going heavy on it, is he not? We do have our sunshine here. Choose this guy. Six. 
see, I knew he was going to do something like this. Woohoo! Come on, don't you dare. Yes! That was absolutely better than the first time by about a million times. An interesting round. If you desire a rematch, let me know. No problem, mate. Uh, I've got you if you want to examine that, open the game menu and go to Gwent Deck panel. Gwent Deck. Ah, Zoltan. Ha, huh, that's cool. Right, let's go and find. Who am I want to talk to now? I think we're want to talk to this guy. For some reason, because he seems to be in. His name seems to be in green. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapses. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Fine. Fine. I'll have a not drink. refuse a good drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Jennifer of Venkerberg. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. Uh, how does it know Jennifer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. It's a Geralt of Rivia himself, the Butcher of Blaviken. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask, is this about love? <laughs> None of your business. Yes, as a vagrant, I deserve no explanation. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. I think we've got Steve. An ill guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their oh, camp. Okay. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Yeah, never know. Right, so there's a chest over there. I'm sure that's one where I can um, stash my stuff. Let's see. Oh, that's good to know, because, like, the first time, like, the quick run through, I played this, I never actually stashed anything, so. Uh-oh. Done drinking. <coughs> mm -hmm. I know. Fuck off. Excuse Don't want me. Your kind here. Better round up someone else to help. Three of you don't stand a chance against me. Well, I could fuck you up by myself. If I had a bag <laughs> over my head and my hands tied behind. Actually, no, not even then. Chet, Lesh, back off. I'll teach this vagrant a lesson. Man on freak. <laughs> Yeah, well that was quick. Um, where's Roach? There you are, Roach. Let's go, buddy. Right. 
I know this part's a bit slow, but hopefully, you know, it is. Oh, sorry, guys. It is the beginning. So, that's why, obviously, you know, with a big storyline like this, you kind of expect it to be slower. Let's just go around here. Wrong way, Roach. You're meant to follow the main road. That's it, Roach. Are you going up here? No, I am not. I'm going down here. There we go. This way. Magic. Yes, it will. Let's beat up. Go Roach. He's the scene. Jump. Here we go. He's the scene, alright. Wait, what? Oh, so we're going along here now. Pretty cool. Like, I mean, the graphics and the maps, like, well, Not so fast really much. interesting. You know, I don't think I've seen a map like this before. Right, let's go off here. Oh, why I got off here? Oh, I've got to hold it, don't I? Duh. Oops. At least they could jump. Right, so I think what I'll do is before we start getting on all these quests, because some of them can be quite long-winded, I'm going to end number one here. It would be going for about 50 minutes. And I hope you've enjoyed this, and we shall get more into it the, in the next time, which should be on Thursday or Saturday. One of the two, I'm not quite sure which my plan is. Uh, um, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.